Okay, so here's my mill, which I've converted to uh, include plasma cutting now. Um, I 3D printed, or made a bracket, drew it up, and then 3D printed this bracket here. So this is a, uh, a floating head. So what happens is, um, as the axis drop down, the torch will hit the, hit the table, and as it goes, hits, hits the table, this will lift up, and it'll trip a switch, which is a little micro switch at the back here. So that tells the machine that it's uh, touched down on the surface and then it calibrates uh, according to the setting that I've got in Mac 3. I just recently picked up, picked up a torch height controller. And I've just wired it in this evening. Uh, so this is the little guy here. It's a Primer 150. Um, fairly straightforward to put in there really. I just put a uh, 3D printed a box for it. Um, it runs on uh, I think it's between 9 and 30 volts, I believe. Uh, I just put it on a 12 volt um, power point there, so that just plugs in. And then I put a, a switch on the front here to turn it on. And this is my data cable here, running through to my, um, using a G540 Gecko controller uh, inside my system. So this requires um, three inputs and a common ground line to work. I'll just switch it on here so you can see how it works here. So that switches on and I'll put it into test mode and we'll just show you how it works. So we'll hold these buttons down. Oh, let's try that again with the other hand. I've got to hit them at the same time. So it's in test mode there now. So it should um, start turning on some lights and flicking up and down. So this is the arc light. It tells you when it's turned on. And this is the down. And this is the up. So it's just doing a test sequence here. So when I turn my machine over to the control of the Proma, this actually takes control of your Z-axis. So when you're cutting something, if the surface is up and down uneven or... Um, uh, your table's just not perfectly flat, which mine I don't believe is at the minute because I've been messing around with it. This will actually lift the Z axis to uh, compensate for the fact that it's not level. And it helps too when you're cutting metal because it actually warps with the heat. So um, this should adjust to the height required to cut. So we'll just go back over again. So the torch I'm using is a, a Lotus. Uh, it's a high frequency torch, um, so people do have issues with the high frequencies. Uh, it did trip my limit switches, which I use on the mill, so I've disengaged them for the plasma cutting. Um, I cut some squares the other day without the Proma on there, uh, and it didn't seem to cause a fuss when I turned off the limit switches. And I also put in an earth line, so this is the wall uh, of my shed, and I ran an 8 gauge wire through the wall of the shed there and um, into an earth line that's just directly outside the wall there down about one and a half meters deep and have big long copper copper rods so back to the system here and so I'm running Mac 3 um, I have got I'll show you my configuration here so on the ports and pins on my input signals So I've got the probe connected to pin number 10 on the, uh, or 1 on the G540, which is uh, pin 10. Um, THC control on, up, and down is how I've got it configured. So that's the settings there. I haven't got it clicked here, THC option, um, and I'll show you why in a minute. Cancel. Configuration. So if we look at the diagnostics page now, it's still in test mode over there on the Proma. So the test mode has got the torch on, and it's going torch up and torch down. It's just sending through the signals. So this actually takes control of my Z axis. Go back to program here. And it would be lifting and lowering my Z axis if I had flicked that in the mill options THC to take control 
but I'm going to hit the torch on button. Now I don't have it wired in, but I do have a lamp wired in. So when I hit the torch on button, the lamp will actually turn on. And then um, the primer will take control of my Z-axis. Now I've got the maximum height set to 5 and the minimum height set to 3. So it's only going to toggle between 5 and 3 uh, on this particular job. Now my tables, it's within 3 millimeters, so I probably won't need to go any lower than three millimeters anyway so we'll hit the button and the primer takes over you can see it jumping up and down there now so it's taking the control of my z-axis so the torch is on and it's actually going up and down as I said so this is just a test sequence uh, if the torch is running, then it detects a detects the uh, the voltage in the arc, and it adjusts just the height of the cutting head according to that voltage. Um, I'm not sure which is which yet. I haven't actually run it properly, so uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. So everything seems to be going as it should. torch off and it stops running behind me. If I go back to the diagnostics page you can still see that the signals are flicking in and out of there. So my next step is to um, fire this thing up and see how it goes. And I'll just show you the rest of my setup. So what I've done basically had a tray made here, uh, a big tray, holds about 75 litres of water just use angle line here, just mill, uh, cut some slats in it. Got some uh, slats there to stick in there. Everything just sits on top of my tray actually, so looking under my table, it's just sitting on the wooden surface of my of my mill. Um, oh, fun thing on my mill, here you go, the whole thing sits on these rods, so if I turn that motor on down the back there, I can turn that cable which lowers the whole table down, or lifts it up depending on what I'm doing. Um, I've had some pretty big jobs I've wanted to mill. I've actually got a got a rotary axis over here that I sit on my table or clamp on occasionally. Um, and for the water, just got a big bucket of water here, 75 litres. It just drains out through this little tap here when I don't want it in there anymore. And I've just got a, a Zudo pump in there that fills this whole table in about one minute, so it's pretty pretty quick. So this was Again, the primer, it's still doing its test, so let's twist it off. And it should go through the end, end, and it's off. And then power off.